Earl the Pearl, My Story by Earl Monroe is a captivating memoir that provides readers with an intimate look into the life and career of one of basketball's greatest players. Monroe's narrative style, filled with personal anecdotes and reflections, allows readers to gain a deeper understanding of the challenges and triumphs he faced both on and off the court. One of the notable aspects of Monroe's memoir is his ability to vividly recreate the basketball landscape of the 1960s and 1970s. Through his descriptive prose, Monroe transports readers back in time, painting a picture of the fast-paced and dynamic nature of the game during that era. He recounts his experiences as a young player growing up in Philadelphia, where he developed his unique style and flair for the game. Monroe's recollections of his college years at Winston-Salem State University, and later his transition into the professional league, offer valuable insights into the basketball culture of the time. Furthermore, Monroe's memoir delves into the racial tensions and social challenges he encountered throughout his career. As one of the few African-American players in the league during that period, Monroe faced discrimination and prejudice both on and off the court. He discusses the impact of racial segregation on his experiences as a young player, highlighting the systemic barriers he had to overcome to achieve success. Monroe's candid reflections on these difficult moments provide readers with a glimpse into the social and cultural context of the time, offering a valuable perspective on the history of racial inequality in professional sports. Beyond his personal struggles, Monroe also explores the intricacies of his playing style and the impact he had on the game of basketball. Known for his exceptional ball handling skills and creative scoring ability, Monroe revolutionized the sport with his unique moves and dazzling performances. He shares insights into his mindset on the court, his strategic approach to the game, and the challenges he faced in adapting his playing style to different teams and systems. Monroe's analysis of his own game provides basketball enthusiasts with a deeper appreciation for his contributions to the sport and sheds light on the evolution of playing styles in professional basketball. Moreover, Monroe's memoir offers a window into the personal aspects of his life beyond basketball. He discusses his relationships with teammates, coaches, and family members, giving readers a sense of the support network that played a crucial role in his success. Monroe's reflections on the sacrifices he made for his career and the impact it had on his personal life add a layer of depth to his story, humanizing the legendary figure and making him relatable to readers. In conclusion, Earl the Pearl my story is an engaging memoir that takes readers on a journey through Earl Monroe's life and career. Through vivid storytelling, Monroe provides a first-hand account of the challenges he faced, the triumphs he achieved, and the impact he had on the game of basketball. His exploration of the basketball landscape, racial tensions, playing style, and personal life offers readers a comprehensive understanding of the man behind the legend. Earl the Pearl, My Story is a must-read for basketball enthusiasts and anyone interested in the social and cultural history of the sport.